Chris vs. Spawner, a zombie one. And it's down, I can see more. Whoa, okay. Um, boop. <laughs> there we go. Hello, coffee proof keyboarders. I'm Winter, and this is the Corrupt Kingdom. So I've done a bunch of stuff off screen. It took me a long while, actually. Farmed a bunch of wood for charcoal and burned it for charcoal. Got more cobblestone. Now I have two water buckets on me. I still have a potion of feeling from the last place I visited. Uh, some extra armor to change into when <laughs> when I'll need it. I repaired my bow. I have a sharpness two iron sword. I brought with me the iron pickaxe because I feel like uh, eventually I have to come across this darn diamond block. I hope. <laughs> So might as well be able to mine any diamond ore I might come across. Made some extra TNT with uh, some of the gan powder I had on me, and now I'm going to run in there. That my spawn point is set it, uh, at that new bed, and hopefully, hopefully it is going to turn out fine. Only two news I have is news number one: at the entrance of this city, there are blade spawners. Uh, which we completely missed the last time because I came here when it was daytime, but I just got here during nighttime and there were blazes at the entrance of that place, so that was scary. And second thing is that I found the first time I went back to my base another huge area where there is uh, there was chitty sand. I noticed it because I heard the lava, so I went to some safe sandstone and uh, dug a piece of sand, and it was, there is. Uh, a huge area that collapses and between mountains and I completely missed it the first time I went through here because I went around uh, that area on I went on the right and instead of one is on the middle so we'll see that once we're back but for now I make I'm going to make sure I have stuff on my toolbar I'm going to be needing this looks good and I'm going to get in there and pray that I can shed some light on this horrible situation. No crap, there is there is somebody here. Oh, okay. So that uh, was a... Oh, there are spawners on the ceiling. Um, please let me place blocks here so that you can't go through. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, that works. This works. And this works almost, almost. Okay, now I need to make uh, take care of uh, the spawners on the ceiling. The crap, there is blitz on the ceiling. Ah, ah. Ah, well, that was horrifying. Alright, so there was a... <laughs> we found a zombie who became... Um... Oh, hi! You're a sneaky one! <sighs> I'll try to say that one more time. We found a zombie who tried... Uh, I don't really need to sleep in here, but I suppose... I just well go night and go away. Who became... there is a term for it. Oh, sorry, I thought you were a spider. <laughs> uh, permanent? I can't, I can't remember that. Uh, it wouldn't despawn. Undespawnable. Because it was holding a bone. And so the game was like, oh, this zombie is important. Uh, this zombie is holding something that is really important for this player. We should not let this zombie disappear into nothingness when this player walks away. So that the zombie can hit this player with the bone on her head once she comes back. And so I was trolled. And I found a chest. Look at that. I actually wasn't expecting something to be here. It's not a trapped chest. Nothing horrible is going to happen while I open it. Is this game actually rewarding me for finding chests? That can't be. Whoa! Two diamond swords. Those are... The best thing I've found so far in this entire map. That... Wow! Wow! <laughs> awesome! I've got to put these in the chests. And honestly though, like, this is the second to last area. I mean, I won't even be able to run through the durability of one of those words. And certainly not two. That's kind of late to start giving me diamond stuff. But I'll gladly take it. And actually I'm going to take the chest too, because the... The chest... Down there, where next to my bed uh, is, uh, uh, I believe, full. Thank you very much. Problem is that I think I put my bed a tiny bit too close to that uh, horrible place because I'm pretty sure I am uh, making stuff spawn uh, when I'm close to it. Uh, I wonder if I can dig to my bed. 
Nee, nee, doesn't matter. I know there's... Okay, for me to stay here, should be far away from... Anything? Although I am hearing spiders. Ah, scary police, scary police, but we got stuff and it's cool. And I managed to put that uh, in there without having to plop this other thing down, but uh, there we go. I'm ready to get back in there. And get stuck in a block on my way there. Oh, hi, hello. Yeah, I'm activating the spawners on the ceiling, even from here. This is how am I going to deal with this? Alright. Back to plan B. Let's try to get there from the top. Um, Alright, I needed to regenerate my health a tiny bit though before I actually try, so... Oh, poison already stopped actually, so never mind. Let's see if there's bad truck in my way. Ah, there is. There is. There, I at least better on my way and I don't believe it's going. there is any way I can get around it. Yep, okay, no cheating. <laughs> I have to get in there through the only entrance, which is here. I'm going to place torches up there. Oh, wow. This is a disaster. How will I ever be able... Let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a terrible idea. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I tried to place in blocks, but I'm not sure how much I succeeded. I didn't. At all. Well, darn. <laughs> now the air around my bed is surrounded by mobs. This is horrible. I think I'll wait far away and... Uh, and wait <laughs> for mobs to despawn. So I'll just cut this spot away. Okay, I waited a couple of minutes. Let's hope... Uh, those were enough to make most of this evil stuff go away from my room. Uh, not really. <laughs> but it does seem a bit more bearable, so let's try to block the blades and the spider. Great! Great! Mission accomplished! Oh! Ah, uh, darn. One thing I didn't think about was to bring milk. That could have been a totally decent idea. Since uh, there are cows back in the jungle, in the place with a, with a huge trees. Actually, there's cows on that oasis over there too, and I do have two buckets on me. And thinking about buckets, I should totally make an infinite little water source somewhere, just in case I happen to lose some of this water. There, this should be good. Oh, no, my flint and steel, I need it. Ah, I have a splash portion of uh, fire resistance. Uh, I could consider using it. Uh, I had a regeneration splash portion back at the other base, but I felt uh, like uh, uh, I should have, I should keep it for the very last area, assuming that's the hardest one. Let's try to get a bit closer. Why can't I place a block here? Who was blocking my way? I wonder. Is this my only way in? Oh, hello! Sorry, I kinda didn't want to ruin my day, uh, your day, but I totally did. Can I... Maybe I can actually build my way into this horrible place. Uh, okay, so I just keep, will keep on getting inside. Why can't I place anything here? Is there a torch? There might have been a torch. Hello! Oh! <laughs> you hurt me! You hurt me! How dare you hurt Wintermaw? I have such a pretty face. <laughs> you can't do that. Of course now I'm activating all those spawners, but... Uh, what can I do? That's the question here, besides putting the fire out. Oh! Oh! Hi! <laughs> and the torch, uh, putting it a bit higher up. Okay, well, I am getting closer. <laughs> Tiny bit at a time. Maybe this torch should go here instead. Hello! Not too bad, not too bad. In a moment I will be able to climb upward if I manage to place some more blocks here for my safety. How's my armor doing? Oh, I think I broke some pieces of armor. I did, I am chest plateless. One hit and I'm dead. Well, I'm right, right next to my bed, so it's the problem. Just don't bite me bad, okay? <laughs> if you bite me, that's it. <laughs> it's over. I have a chest plate. Yeah. 
I suppose I'll wear this one. And then the rest of my armor is all going to break at once. Now, place this block one block further, like here. Once the torch is gone and the blaze is too. There we go, perfect. And I should be able to dig directly upward from here, mostly. Uh, this is actually horrifying. Is there any way I can... Oh, I bumped my head. Is there any way I can post a block here? Once the blaze is gone. Hop, 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 hop. Nope, I completely missed. This is not going smoothly at all. I hope not all rooms are like this, because otherwise I'm doomed. Finally. Great. The sounds are going insane because there's just too much fire going on. I have already used up a stack of cobblestone. Oh, and the zombie with a shovel. Okay. I'm a bit on fire, but that's fine. Or that's fire. Ah. <laughs> I should not be trying to make puns. But, progress. Hmm. So, there is no bedrock here, but there is bedrock up there. So... Uh, this is not going to work. I need the cobblestones to be farther ahead. Let's try this. Wait! Oh, I got hit. And I don't like that. There we go. This is going to be a bit more useful. Once I stop being on fire. Um, this is going slowly, so I'll bring you guys back once I've made some progress. There is the first spawner, a zombie one, and it's down, I can see more. Whoa, okay. Um, boop. <laughs> there we go. Let's try to destroy all of them. I would prefer to keep them for experiences purposes. That was pluralized. For a very good reason, but uh, I really don't want them hanging around and possibly affecting different uh, floors and areas. That was... Lots of spawners and all of them completely out of reach and a skeleton spawned in here. Or did it? Did I imagine it? <laughs> okay. It happens sometimes. Ah! Scary! Scary stuff down there. Let's try not to go down there at all. And Blaze decided to get up here instead because uh, if winter doesn't go to the mountain the mountains definitely coming to winter. Ah! I prefer the mountain deal where the mountains do best and uh, mind their own business. Hmm, I'm still hearing lots and lots and lots of blazes and horrible things. So let's make sure nothing can approach us from above, except there is a torch there, so I can't really place anything. Open up this block oh, and be terrified of what's awaiting us inside. Let's take care of the blazes this way. It could be that the mobs I'm hearing are in different rooms. Uh, after all, I did take care of all the spawners on top. Uh, that's actually the case. Okay, I have secured one area, one area in like 20 minutes of time. I'm going to get back my cobblestone. Alright, this area is safe. I don't want to get through there. Let's take a look here and see that there is still exactly the same kind of mobs waiting for me while I run out of a sword like an idiot. What do I do now? How do I escape the situation? I switch to my other sword that I do have. I can't believe I already broke a sword. That's actually really bad. Hello. I wasn't into by anything, was I? Take a very, very good look in here. Hi. I see that you needed to be enlightened. I wonder if there is more bedrock. Yes, there is. I am completely unable of going through to Syria by digging around it. Uh, let's take another look here. I am capable of coming in from above. Look at that. This actually could be... Ah! Oh, duh. Ah, okay, maybe it won't be that good for me. I didn't think spiders would be able to climb up here. Where are you coming from? Are you just climbing? That's all you're doing? Climbing? Is that what you do? 
Do spiders do that? I never heard of spiders climbing and my health is too low to approach this. I may actually skip this whole part because that's just going to be me very slowly placing blocks and breaking blocks uh, through each and every room. So I believe I will just do that. I would just like to point out the entity count up here. Shit. Another room has been taken care of. You know what I said about the Diamond Swords? Forget it, this is awesome and it may not even last me through this area. Whoops, I might have opened the doors to hell. Sorry. I rang the wrong doorbell. Alright, one more room down. My goodness. Room number four. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, dear. Whatever then. <laughs> Mash the keyboard. Something's going to happen. Oh, dear. <laughs> I survived that. Fifth room. Freak again! I threw away another one. It appears that the spawners are always exactly on the same place and exactly the same mountain type. And there we go. Sixth room. I am not finding this entertaining at all, but seventh room. This really is giving me a hopeless kind of feeling. I have no idea where I'm going or what kind of progress I'm making. All these rooms are completely identical between each other. Alright, that's eight. Eight rooms. Where am I even and how far still do I have to go? Is this different? Oh crap, this is different. I think this is different. This is totally different. Oh goodness. I am somewhere. I am somewhere different. Ah! Okay, this is not different at all. It's the same, it's the same. Horror. This has been going on for an hour and 20 minutes now. The right only may not respawn. I take it back. <laughs> oh goodness, yes! Yes! Look what's down there! Oh, that's such a beautiful vision! Oh, I have accidentally made a huge mob farm. Yes! Yes! Let's head home! This is uh, the scary place. Uh, updating one block made all of this collapse. Home sweet home. <laughs> I missed you so much. But I'm back. I'm back and I brought the world. <laughs> I have 50 levels on me and then almost entirely destroyed Demon's Sword. That's what I have to show for the adventure I just went through. Ah. Well, I'd call that a complete success. One hour and 30 minutes of footage later, I have uh, <laughs> I have uh, completed the Atlantis of Descents, and now the only place we are left is the question mark, question mark, question mark place over there. Uh, meanwhile, I will repair my stuff, put those 50 levels to good use, get back uh, on full iron armor, and, and uh, next time <laughs> we'll see what awaits us. So. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you in the next episode of The Corrupt Kingdoms. Could it be the last one? Probably not.